Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have an Ever Solar Solar Inverter and this one's coming up with an error which we'll, we'll see on the screen soon. It's just uh, going through a startup procedure at the moment. And uh, this, so this is an Eversol TL15000AS and this uh, issue affects 2000AS as well, the 2 kilowatt version. So it's just uh, checking the inverter at the moment. And there we go, it's coming up with DC injection to uh, high. And now what this uh, error means is that the inverter has detected that there has been DC injected into the AC side of the inverter and it's at a, a level which is too high. And so it's an internal fault in the inverter and it sees that as an issue and it shuts it down for safety to save, uh, to stop any uh, DC power from the uh, solar panels going into the grid at all. So as you can see, it's it's come up with that error and now it's it's automatically trying to reboot the system again, trying to go through the, the startup procedure and uh, see if the error is cleared or not. And uh, I don't think it's going to, unfortunately. So we'll just wait a few more seconds and just see how it goes. Okay, so it goes to normal mode from a moment, then, it's, then it realizes the inject, DC injection is too high and uh, it uh, shuts down, the red fault light comes on and it tries to reconnect again. So if your ever solar inverter is coming up with this DC injection fault, it is something which will be covered under warranty. The ever solar inverters have a five year warranty. So if your inverter was installed in the last five years and you got proof of purchase within that time period, then uh, you can certainly make a warranty claim with it. And so you, like I said, you will need the proof of purchase for that. And you also need the model number and serial number of the inverter, which can be found here on the uh, right hand side of the inverter. We see up here we've got the type of inverter, the Eversol TL15000AS, that's the model, and then we've got the serial number, the sticker here. Sometimes if these inverters have been stored out in full sun, the uh, serial number sticker will will uh, disappear, will uh, will just fade away to nothing, and usually you can scroll through the screen here and find the serial number. Let's see if it's going to let me keep pressing through. Oh, we keep coming up with this error. Somewhere through here. Maybe I tell a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's just trying to reboot anyway. <laughs> well, look, hopefully your one will have the serial number on the side. Uh, that's if it's inside the five-year warranty. Um, yeah, look, if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If your inverter's outside the warranty period and you're elsewhere, uh, Gold Coast Solar can certainly send you a, a good quality replacement inverter to replace your faulty unit with. So look, I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.